Hello and welcome to another episode of I Want to Cook. I'm Chef Matt and this channel is all about empowering you to become a better cook. In my last video, I showed you how to make homemade mashed potatoes. And for said mashing of those potatoes, we used one of these. This is just a manual masher. But today I'm gonna to show you another tool for making mashed potatoes, and it is called a potato ricer. And this is my secret weapon for making the smoothest, creamiest mashed potatoes you have ever had. So this is a potato ricer, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use one of these. So this is a potato ricer and it is purely mechanical. You don't need batteries or electricity to run one of these. You just need some muscle. So the way it works is you put your food into this canister, you adjust this push plate and you simply press down. And what happens is the uh, food will then be extracted through these holes into a really fine mesh. Potato ricers don't cost too much. They're about $20 to $30. You can find them um, basically at any kitchen store, some general stores, and of course online. Some potato ricers even have interchangeable plates so that you can vary the size of the uh, food that is being extracted. Now, before I show you how to use one of these, I wanna show you how not to. Don't just like take a raw potato and you know put it in here and try to push down. You would either break the device or break yourself with that. This is meant for cooked foods or soft foods only. So now I'll show you how you do use one of these and two reasons why you might choose a ricer over a masher. The first reason I've already discussed is because it just yields really, really creamy potatoes. You won't get any lumps with this. The second is that it actually saves time because you don't need to peel the potatoes before you cook them. Because of these holes, what happens is you can load your cooked potatoes with the skins on, push through, and by its nature, because of these fine holes, it will extract just the potato and not the potato skin. So you can save some time uh, peeling potatoes by using one of these. So let's make some mashed potatoes using a potato ricer. So for using a ricer for mashed potatoes, we will once again begin with russet potatoes. But instead of peeling them, we will just give them a good scrub. From here, it's the same method as using peeled potatoes. We'll cut them into similar size chunks, put them in a pot, cover them with water, then heat the pot over medium high and simmer until tender. The cooking process should only take about half hour or less until the potatoes are nice and fork tender. When tender, drain the potatoes. Now at this point, instead of using a masher, we'll pile these potatoes into the potato ricer and press. Here's how it's gonna go down. Time to put our ricer to work. So we will load up our cooked and drained potatoes. We're just gonna put these right into the uh, canister here. Make sure none get away. You don't wanna fill it too full, especially if you're doing this just for the first time. So the potatoes are in the ricer. Now all we have to do is press and just, just like this. This process is called extrusion. And see what it yields are these nice, fluffy, amazing potatoes. They're like clouds. So, that's how you rice a potato, and then we're just going to repeat this process. Now you'll note that the skin on the uh, potatoes is kind of at the top here, and um, every so often I like to take that out and you can just trash it or compost it, or I don't know, maybe even like give it to your dogs or something. But that's all we're gonna have to do. So once again, we'll just reload. and then press just like that. And see, you get these fine, fine potatoes. This is kind of fun. And you even get to uh, use your muscles and build up a little uh, 
arm strength here. And again, if it gets gunked up, just kind of uh, brush the skins and kind of this excess off into an awaiting bowl here. And be sure to scrape the bottom to get all those lovely riced potatoes. Now these are fluffy on their own and they're delicious, but just like with regular mashed potatoes, I'm gonna add some milk and butter to these to make them just extravagant. So I've got some heated uh, milk here. I'm just gonna pour this in. Ugh. And some melted butter. We'll pour this right in. And again, since we're not using a masher, we're just gonna use a fork and just kind of whip these up. Oh my gosh. My friends, I wish, I wish you could smell these. The butter, the creaminess. I've got some parsley flakes. Add these on. Little pepper. Touch more salt. Final stir. Heaven. Heaven. Thanksgiving or any day. If you want to make the smoothest, creamiest mashed potatoes, potato ricer. So that's the 411 on potato ricers. And hey, if you get one of these, you can actually use them for uses beyond just potatoes. You can also uh, squeeze yams out of these things, sweet potatoes. I've heard some people even make uh, baby food puree by using one of these potato ricers. Hey, do you have one of these? Uh, if you do and you use it for a different use other than potatoes, I'd love to hear what you use these for and uh, any results that you get. As always, thank you for watching I Want to Cook. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. That lets me know that I'm producing content that you guys like. And if you're not already a subscriber, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe, that way you will always know when I have new videos to help you be a better cook. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Until then, keep on cooking.